five essential tools that we should buy when building a van. Basic carpentry, I guess. You would start with a, a good drill that can make holes and can screw screws. So first, start. a good drill. Second. Uh, well, you need to cut wood, obviously. So a good six so two. And of course, if you get the money, you get with a bench saw. <laughs> not, if, not everyone can afford this. Yeah, you use table saws with 10 inch blades for fine finish. Okay, three. You know, a good sander would help. Okay. A good sander is a must. All right, number four of the tools you need to build a van. You know, if you're gonna build your van, you, you may use one of these. All right. Or you may want to use a nail gun. But, uh, a good nail gun, finishing type. You don't need the big hoo I'm gonna make a deck type nail gun, just a finishing type, and uh, it's gonna help you do a lot of things. And uh, last tool you would recommend for someone building a van? I feel like, uh, well, that's basic, but measuring tapes, we use measuring tapes a lot. I don't know if that yeah, helps. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, and there's many on the market. All right. One of the things that we bought for the van uh, that we've been really happy with, or I've been really happy with, is this step right here. It's a nice step, it's boxed, so it kind of matches sort of the back here, because that kind of little boxed off looking square instead of being round. And the step gives us a little bit of extra protection. It's easier to step in and out of uh, the van if we're going in the back or stepping up into it. And it's just enough to where if somebody maybe hits us, maybe it'll provide us a little bit of extra protection. Behind the bumper cover is the actual tow hitch that we bought from Amazon and put on, and it goes behind the bumper cover. So when you pull the bumper cover off, you got this big square tube that bolts into the frame of the van. And of course, it has the hitch, like receiver hitch area, to plug a step in, or a tow ball, you know, when you put your tow receiver in there, of which we have both. But yeah, been really happy with this thing. Glad we bought it, wasn't too expensive. Another problem we have is we like to have our fruit basket up on the countertop and it, as you can see, just slides really nicely on the countertop here. So that's a problem when we're driving because it's gonna fall right on the floor. So a hack we came up with are these drawer liners. You cut it to the size you want and voila, this stays on the countertop. 